YouTube, it's your host Axel Rose. This show brings you the slogan, and you are now watching MVP Magazine. And yes, people, to commemorate that momentous occasion that is Blaster Master returning to consoles in 2017, we will just be taking a moment out to experience and review the greatness which is Blaster Master Zero. Now, if you are an OG gamer, you will remember Blaster Master from the epic days of the original Nintendo Entertainment System. Blaster Master was a platform stroke shooter action game where you took control of the Sophia Mark III combat battle tank. And yes, people, you actually did the platforming with the tank. It was definitely a boss. <laughs> Now, as this is kind of a remake of the original, made to introduce new fans to the franchise, you may experience some deja vu if you played this game before. But if this is your first time, you will definitely be in for more of a treat. Now, all of the fast and frantic action that you remember from the original is still here, and it's been upgraded to make it more challenging and a lot more better, and more just suitable for 2017's needs. Sunsoft have made a lot of smart moves to make this classic game feel new. From a strafe button to a diagonal automatic aim button, which really helps with these 2D shooters, trust me, even to brand new power-ups to make this game feel brand new. In fact, the only other convention they didn't add to make this game feel new was add third person cover or chest high walls, or first person, like some other shooters we know. And of course, one of Master Blaster's highlights is its bosses. And thankfully for the remake, they are in full effect, with some of them kind of being the same as they were on the original Nintendo, and some of them receiving a full uphaul, and some of them, whew, they are definitely difficult to beat. But I'm not gonna lie, this one was easy. Real easy. It was definitely a boss. <laughs> Now, as far as story is concerned, Blaster Master Zero is pretty much the same as original, with our hero still looking for his missing frog. Although in this version, there's a lot more exposition and reason for why he's looking for his frog, and yes, they do delve deeper. So, if you want to know the mystery between a boy and his frog all these years, now is the time to find out. Now apart from that, the game is packed with a ton of offensive options and weapons and it will take you quite a while to find all of them. That being said, the game is quite short and it does clock in at about 5 to 6 hours and that's on a kind of casual playthrough. But the game is rock hard and tough so it will be difficult busting through all those levels. That is if you don't have all the power ups. So yes people, this game is an awesome action filled shoot em up, not just for if you're, you know, one of those nostalgia Nintendo fans like myself, it's got some great action and some great new features that will make you just think this game is awesome. And yes, I am definitely feeling the anime overhaul they gave the cutscenes, you know me, you know I'm gonna love that. But yes, let me know what you think of this game, Blaster Master. Not gonna lie, would have loved this game to be remade in 3D. I think that would have really upset it off and made things pop, especially for the casual fans who aren't too fan of the Nintendo old school look. But hey, I'm just glad that Blaster Master is bizzack. Oh my god, that was so 90s. <laughs> but anyway, let me know what you think about Blaster Master being back. And yeah, highlight your boy. Peace.